सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम लेटली आई रिसीव मैनी कमेंट्स बिलो माई वीडियोज दैट आई शुड मेक एन वीडियो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सेफ्टी कॉन्टोर शेलो कॉन्टोर एंड डीप कॉन्टोर ऑल दो आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड एन वीडियो बट इन दिस वीडियो अगेन आई ट्राई टू मेक इट एज सिंपलर एज आई कैन सो लेट स्टार्ट Now, first, what is a contour? Contour is a line which joins places which have equal depths. Let's say, let's say this is a chart. If I have depths around here, if this is my chart, if I join these line, if I join this this line, this becomes a contour of ten meter. So, this is what a contour is. Now, next, we have four thing: safety depth. सेफ्टी कॉन्टूर शेलो कॉन्टूर डीप कॉन्टूर सो फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन ऑल दीज कॉन्टूर देन आई एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेफ्टी डेप्थ एंड सेफ्टी कॉन्टूर बिकॉज सेफ्टी डेप्थ एंड सेफ्टी कॉन्टूर द कैलकुलेशन इज सेम इज जस्ट देर इज अ बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू विच आई एल एक्सप्लेन लेटर ऑन नाउ फॉर आई एल एक्सप्लेन दीज कॉन्टूर सेफ्टी कॉन्टूर इज अ कॉन्टूर इन विच वेसल कैन नेविगेट सेफली शेलो कॉन्टूर इज अ कॉन्टूर in which if a vessel navigate there are chances of aground the vessel may aground so it is just something like this that let's say this is land and uh, vessel is up this is land and vessel is approaching from here at northern course so it will be something like this there this will be shallow contour this will be safety contour and from here this will be deep contour so once my vessel enter deep contour my vessel will start experiencing higher scot so after entering over here now again once my vessel continue to move inside and in, once my vessel moves over here now i know that my vessel can safely navigate within this area and if and i should be and i should steer clear from this shallow contour because here if my vessel comes inside this area my vessel may aground so always avoid safety contour so this is the basic thing that once a vessel comes from an ocean first it will see deep contour then safety contour and then shallow contour now next so i hope you have understood this now next is what is difference between safety depth and safety contour as i have told earlier that contour is a line contour is a line which joins places which have equal depth now let's say if i get a contour of 16 meter now as i've told earlier also safety depth and safety contour calculation is same so whatever will be the value for safety depth same value will be there for meter on my axis it is not necessary that on this present chart or whichever chart my vessel is navigating that i have a 16 meter contour maybe i have a 15 meter contour and then this is just for an example i'm saying and then let's say i have a 20 meter contour so automatically once i enter this safety contour setting of 16 meter my vessel my axis will select a higher contour because if 16 meter contour is not available it is the axis is designed in such a way that it will automatically select the next higher contour so it will be something like this but it does not mean that i cannot navigate within this area as i have shown you earlier that safety contour we can safely navigate beyond safety contour we shall not go because there are chances of aground because we will enter into shallow contour but now as i have told here that between 16 and 20 meter there is no contour so after so this is my safety contour so it does not mean that i can after entering safety contour i cannot go further i can still navigate within this area wherever i have safe depths so from there it has come that we have safety depth so safe depth is normally now it is called as safety now my safety depth is same 16 meter so what it does in safety depth is that whichever depth which are less than or equal to 16 meter those will be highlighted on the chart so let's say if i have to show you on a broad broad uh, we if there was a 15 meter contour and if there was a 20 meter contour my safety depth and safety contour values were 16 meter just if i calculate and i got this value i would see this 
contour on like this but i can still navigate within this area now if i have selected 16 meter all those depth over here which are equal to or less than 16 meter those will be highlighted let's say 15 meter 14 meter 13 meter 12 meter but if there is 18 meter it will be in light color so 16 meter and less than 16 meter depths will be highlighted in bold black color so this thing i'll show you on egdis as well just so that you can see in practical view how uh, these things are uh, shown on egdis and it will give you a better understanding so this is my egdis and transverse egdis presently you can see over here I have entered safety contour value of 16 meter, safety depth value also 16 meter. As I have told, the calculation is always same, so you all you will always get a same value. Now this is the contour, 15 meter and 20 meter. Now as I have entered 16 meter, there is no 16 meter contour. Egdis has automatically selected the next biggest contour which is 20 meter in this uh, on this chart hence i have this contour selected automatically now also i have entered safety depth that is 16 meter so all those depth which are less than or equal to 16 meter those will be highlighted in dark black color as you can see over here and all those depths which are greater than 7 16 meter those will be in light gray color there will be uh, all those depths will be in gray color you can see 19.5, 18.9, 16.4, 19.1, 17. So all this in gray color. So it just, so it just gives me an indication that it is not that not only my vessel can navigate around here, it can navigate further more because I have safe depths. If I have a depth which is less than my safety depth, of course I cannot sail in. My vessel cannot enter into this. But yes, over here my vessel can safely enter. So it's just that safety depth will highlight it it will given uh, it will give the depths in bold black color so this is the basic idea if i'll just zoom out you can see over here also all those depths which are equal to or less than 16 meter presently in my case these will be highlighted in dark black color and other than that all those greater depths than that safety depth those will be in light gray color so now I hope you have understood the difference between safety depth and safety contour. So, so we are done with it. Now also explain this on a paper or as well. Now on Egdis, there are two options that we have we have we can either select two shade mode or four shade mode. If on Egdis I have to show, I'll just take you back over here. This is the button over here. On all Egdis, you will have this function. So if I unselect this, there will be only two color, dark blue and gray color. That's it. So let's see. I'll just zoom out. So now here you can see there are only two colors, dark blue and gray color. So here two shade mode is on. on. If I switch on this four shade mode, I'll just zoom in. Here we will have shallow contour, safety contour, deep contour and these are normal navigable waters so that's why to explain this uh, function of safety shallow and deep contour we have to switch on this four shade mode so so that's what i'm showing over here if it was on two shade mode as you can see four shade mode uh, is not selected which we, we cannot distinguish which, which will be safety contour which will be shallow contour and which will be deep contour so we cannot learn this on two shade mode now if we have enabled four shade mode then yes, we can easily distinguish between safety contour, shallow contour and deep contour. So as I've told you this thing on the paper chart over here, now I'm just describing the same thing on, on this uh, screenshot of the uh, ENC. So if my vessel is coming from here, these are normal water. My vessel once enter over here, this is deep contour. Now here I should start expecting to have a greater squat. Now, as my vessel continue to sail further inside, here this is my safety contour. I can easily navigate within this area, but this over here will be shallow contour. So I shall avoid entering into this area because there are chances of vessel aground. 
so that's why so this is the basic difference deep deep contour uh, you can call it gray color or very light blue color then you have little light blue color over here for safety contour and shallow contour will be in deep and uh, dark blue color same thing on this enc pip also i can show if my vessel is over here and if my vessel is proceeding to over here first it will and first it will encounter deep contour over here it is 50 meter so it is a deep contour then if my vessel continue to sail further inside it will encounter this as a safety contour and then this will be shallow contour now over here in this case i have selected safety contour and safety depth value as 15 meter but as you can see there is no between 10 and 20 meter there is no 15 meter contour hence it has automatically selected a higher scale for safety contour that is 20 meter but all those depths which are equal to or less than 50 meter will be highlighted in dark black color so yes my vessel can easily navigate into this area i will be just cautious of these depths i shall avoid these depths and i can navigate in these waters so that is the function of safety depth and safety contour now to calculate these things this is the formula as per my company your company might have a different calculation safety depth and safety contour calculation is based upon these four things shallow contour is also same these things except for the point b except for this point except for this point shallow contour is also calculated based upon this deep contour as per my company it is maximum static draft and maximum dynamic draft if we add these two i shall get a deep contour so this was a so this is just a calculation part you can read it remember it if you want or you can get an idea from it how do we calculate this also as i've said earlier also that i am not calculating these things i was just showing you that basic difference between these four because as per my company i already have an excel sheet in this excel sheet if i enter my drafts or maximum static draft and the other values which are asked over your density cat zog value what is the speed we are going to do angle of heel angle of roll pitching it will automatically give me these shallow contour safety contour and safety depth and deep contour values so i don't do anything i just enter the values over here in grayscale my excel sheet al always gives me these values now just in tip that you you can in normally in this we cannot enter these values in decimal 8.73 9.73 15.31 we'll always round off and enter the values 9 meter 10 meter 10 meter and 16 meter so normally on this we do not have a function to enter the decimal values we'll always take a round off of these values the greater values actually and then we'll uh, enter these values for safety depth or contours